Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be installing an oil pan baffle on the Silver Integra. Like I said, we have a track day coming up, so we're going to try to prepare for that as much as we can. So first, I already got the car jacked up and I pulled the header off. So we're going to drain the oil and then take off the 19 10 millimeter bolts and get started. We have the oil draining out, so if you look around the oil pan, I think it's 19 or 21 of these 10 millimeter bolts, but we're going to have to take off this inspection plate for the clutch to get some of them. So while we're waiting for this oil to finish draining, I'm just going to pull off this inspection plate. I believe it's four bolts all together. Alright, so I got the oil pan off. The oil's still dripping out the pickup into the pan. But I couldn't believe when I took this off, almost every one of these bolts around here was hand tightened. There was probably about five that were actually tightened. But now that I got this off, I can see that they silicone the crap out of this, whoever had this car before. So that's going to make this a little bit more difficult. Not really, but it's just more work. So I'm going to peel this gasket off now. Then I'm going to get some brake parts cleaner or some carb cleaner or something and I'm going to clean the whole surface all the way around where the gasket goes and then there should be some silicone where the oil pump and uh, back here I'll show you once I get this cleaned up alright so I cleaned the crap out of the mating area you can see right up in here a little bit brighter hopefully but somebody scratched it all up but usually right here this is the oil pump side right by the first stud there's a seam here and over here on the back by the first stud you want to put a very thin amount of RTV here and here and down on this side right where the right rear main seal is by the last stud that's sticking out very thin layer here and over on the back so I have the oil pan off the car now and I kind of got it cleaned out. It's not perfect yet, but this is the um, oil baffle I picked up off of eBay. So in the picture, I'll post it up right here. It looks like it's going to fit really well. So if I have this thing kind of lined up the way it's supposed to be, it's about one and three quarter inch short to get all the way to the edge. So, I guess I'm just going to have to make my own plate, and I'm just going to use this one as a template. I mean, for 22 bucks, what do you expect? But I may still use these uh, side brackets, and then make some L brackets to attach it on this side. So, basically, right now, I have a piece of sheet metal laid out right here. And I'm going to trace this out, and I'm going to add the one and three quarters here. So here's the template that I came up with. So I basically traced this out and then I added one and three quarters to this side. I just drew a couple marks off this edge, this edge, this one and this one. And then I basically just took a ruler and drew a straight line down here. And then this continued the line straight on each side. So basically now I'm just gonna take a jigsaw and cut this out. And then I'm gonna have to make the two L brackets up to hold this side hopefully these should work if not not a big deal i can make some new ones it's not a complex bend it's just a 90. all right so here's the ebay one this is the one i made i grinded it down got all the surface rust off and i took my time and filed around all the edges to make sure there's no loose metal i uh, made these two little l brackets right here i'm gonna weld these on from underneath Here's the other one right here. So that way the uh, plate will have some support on this side. And then I'm just gonna use the two little pieces that came with it on this side. So I mocked everything up, everything looks good so far. So right now I'm just gonna weld these two pieces on and then test fit it again. And then one more time, I'm gonna go around the edges with a file. Um, don't want my motor to get ruined because of metal shavings so I'm gonna take my time doing this all right so I got this thing welded in here now and it's pretty solid I just did some tacks around there 
like I say in all my videos, I'm not a good welder at all. This isn't um, metal shavings. This is actually, this, I guess they call it slag off of the flux core welder. But I made the um, grind that down. And this is just some oil that I wiped on here so it doesn't rust. But I cleaned this out really good with brake uh, cleaner, compressed air, and acetone. So I'm going to get ready to test fit this on the motor and make sure everything fits how it's supposed to. Hopefully I didn't screw up. All right, so this is the oil pan gasket I'm using. This is the Felt Pro one that Speed Factory sells. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive than the $12 one that you would get at the auto parts store. But this one has three layers. It's rubber, metal, rubber. It's supposed to help form to the oil pan and the block better. It comes with the silicone and it comes with these little uh, plastic uh, studs to help you line everything up a little bit better. So right now I'm going to go grab the oil pan. I'm going to put some of this RTV on the block and hopefully get this thing tightened back up. All right, so I got the oil pan getting ready to get on the car. So here's the gasket outside of the package. You can see it's pretty solid. It's not just the regular flimsy rubber. Rubber. So first thing I'm gonna do is screw a couple of these little plastic things in the block. And basically, you just slide the oil pan up on this and then it'll click over there and hold in place so you can get all the bolts started. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, so now you can see I have the little plastic studs in. I have two on this side of the motor and two on this side. And you can see it just makes it a lot easier because now the oil pan's holding itself up and I can just press up a little bit to start the nuts. I'm gonna do all the nuts first and then I'm gonna put the studs on. I got all the uh, nuts soaking in some uh, brake clean or carb cleaner. I forget which one I sprayed in here just to get all the oil and the grease off of them. And I'm just gonna wipe them down before I put them on. So I have all the oil pan bolts back on. They're just hand tightened. So basically you wanna tighten them in this sequence. I'll post it up here. And then you're gonna tighten them down to nine foot pounds all the way around. So just follow the sequence. All right, so the oil pan's all back on before I put some oil in it. I picked up this magnetic drain plug for four bucks. That's part number 65216. Comes with the gasket. Uh, I have to switch the oil filter out. This is a Honda one. There's the part number right here. And then put some oil in the car. You get the exhaust manifold back on and plug back in the wide band and the stock O2 sensor. All right, so the car is all back together. Exhaust manifold's on. Sensors are hooked back up. Uh, inspection plates back on the transmission, uh, magnetic drain plugs in the pan, so now I just have to add some oil and lower the car. So I've always used this uh, 1540 diesel oil. Uh, it works pretty good for me, haven't had any problems, the car doesn't burn any oil or anything. And this is one of the sickest funnels I've ever seen. It screws right into the oil cap part, and then you can just fill it like that. I picked this up from a guy on Instagram, uh, Dual Overhead Cam Will. I'll put his Instagram down here. But it's like 20 bucks. It's super nice. Um, I plan on buying another one to put in my track box. But that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Uh, hopefully this baffle helps out a lot on the track. But we'll see. I haven't had any uh, oil starvation problems before. But it's just uh, another thing to make the car a little bit more safer when I'm beating on it but if you have any questions feel free to message me or post a comment down below and I'll definitely get back to you also if you want me to send you a paper copy of the template for the baffle send me like 50 cent or a dollar or whatever in PayPal and I'll get a stamp with that and mail that out to you or if you want me to make you one I'll probably do that for like 30 bucks shipped but you're going to have to trim it a little bit to fit your application but until next time like comment subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one